from the Odin's Test Kitchen's Coconut Almond Blackberry Coffee Cake. We'll begin by making the topping for our coffee cake. To a large mixing bowl, add four tablespoons of softened butter, one third cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of light brown sugar, and one third cup of oats, and about a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Combine the mixture until it's crumbly. You can use a pastry blender, but many people prefer to just use their fingers. Your topping's done. Now, onto the cake. You'll need one box of Odent's Coconut Almond Paste. Grate the almond paste over a piece of wax paper. Put the grated almond paste into a mixing bowl. Add one cup of sugar and then mix on low speed until the texture of crumbs. Add four tablespoons of softened butter, then mix until just combined. Break one large egg into a small bowl. We don't want shells in our coffee cake. Add the egg to the mixer. Beat until smooth. Stop mixing and add one half cup of coconut milk. Then one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, followed by one half teaspoon of coconut extract. Mix the ingredients together. Into a flour sifter goes one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Sift into the other ingredients, but don't use your electric mixer now. Use a rubber spatula to barely fold the ingredients together. You don't want to overmix. Toss 12 ounces of blackberries with one tablespoon of flour. This will help keep the berries suspended in the batter while your cake is baking. Fold the berries into the batter until just combined. We sprayed a nine and a half inch springform pan with Baker's Release Spray. Next, add your batter. Give your pan a few good taps to settle the batter. Cover evenly with the topping that you already made. Bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 50 minutes or until the toothpick pulls out clean. When done, let cool on a wire rack for 15 minutes. Doesn't that look good? Get the recipe at odents.com keyword coffee cake.